Hey guys, so this is a review for the uh, TMNT NECA Ace Duck Immunogen Man. Um, so again, this is in the package. I haven't taken it out yet. So basically, we have the uh, basic stuff with the artwork from the cartoons. Um, I always like this because you can compare it to like the figures just to see how they look just right out of the gate. Um, so the same top. On the side, we got Ace Duck in his pretty cool pose. On the back, we got some other figures. Um, so looking for these, but I've got these other two and their views are up too. So make sure to look those up if you're interested. And then I got Mugen Man there too. So, all right, we'll take these out and take a look and uh, show y'all what I got. All right, so um, I finally got everything in the package and all. Uh, I gotta give a disclaimer though. There is like an excess of like, um, accessories so there's a lot i try to like put them in a pile here i'm gonna try to go over them here in just a minute but um like those little plastic little strings i'm gonna grab one real quick yeah these little things that they use to tie everything down there's like at least a dozen of them, so you buy this to make sure you got like a good pair of snippers or something like that just to kind of go through it. Um, so I guess I'm going to start off with Ace Duck. So the first thing here is he's got like a little card poster thing. Um, pretty neat. And one thing I always forgot like was uh, Ace Duck wasn't actually a character on the show. Like he was a character on the TV show that the Turtles watch. So... Um, so I guess it's like Forrest movie, Ace Duck, gets revenge. So yeah, but that'd be cool. All right, I'm gonna start off with Ace Duck. His hat came off. Actually, this thing was on there pretty good. Like if you press down hard enough, it just, or in the right spot, it just, it stays on there. I don't know. <laughs> um, but it pops off, so you can see that. That looks really good. Um, so pretty much the basic setup. It's kind of got like the Casey Jones like Vern body style, like kind of tall and slim. It's got the double elbows, um, both sides. Let's see. Yeah, double jointed knees. Have to work those in. Those are breaking in. Um, ankle pivot. And you can already see right there some of the paint's chipping off. So this is, you know, as I work it, it comes out more, but you don't really notice it that much. I don't know how you can get away from that. Like I feel like Marvel Legends is a little better job of like painting, keeping the paint in the joints, but it is what it is. Um, it's got a gun satchel here. So I'm gonna see how functional this thing is real quick. So I'm putting one of those handguns in there. it over there. Oh, that one's a little tight. I'm going to try that other gun. Since I got it out anyways, I'm going to go over. So he's got like a little pistol handgun, like a magnum or something like that. And he's got like a revolver. So um, they look really cool. They're just kind of gray with a little black detail. Yeah, that looks a little better. Still kind of tight, but it looks like it would go. Sure, have to work that in later, but yeah, um, looks like that would work just fine. Just to work it in. So, um, he does have wings, so they go up and down, flat back and forth. Um, pretty standard if you have wing nut. Um, You'll know kind of what I'm talking about, or Baxter, or, you know, any of the flying characters. Um, <clears throat> it does have an alternate head. So this is kind of like the standard, I guess, this initial pose. It was kind of just walled out or something like that. But then he's got like kind of like the action face. Uh, the bills don't open. So that you can see there's no hinge or anything there. Same thing with this one. Like when I first saw it, I saw this little spot right here. And I was like, oh, man, it'll open. But yeah, it don't. But, give you an idea what that looks like. And 
and it's kind of got like the uh, the neck, like the the neck moves too. So that's kind of neat. I like that. Oh, and in his belt loop, he has these little bombs and these little holsters for him. So, and they're just kind of like little bombs. There's not like, you know, anything else to them. They don't articulate or anything like that, but wow. Goes right through. Try the other one. Okay. So if you line it up, it kind of stays in there, but just like you've seen, it'll go all the way through. So be careful. Um, Actually, I'm gonna see if I can grab the other one real quick, just to show you what it looks like. It's like it's within reach. So you can kind of see what both of them look like on the back. That one don't want to stay. So you get to put it in there real easy. And it's built kind of swivels too, so. One, yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, that looks like it's on there pretty good. Just like you have to hit the right spot and it just gets on there snug. Um, let's see. Oh, he's got like a film thing, I thought was kind of cool. Um, this is kind of like a thin plastic. I don't think it spins or anything. I really don't know how else to turn it though. Yeah, I don't know. These are, they've got a little get to them, but like, I'm not sure that's good or not. I don't know. I might work that in later. And he's got like a VHS too. So, and it don't articulate or anything. It's just kind of like a little rectangle, but it looks good. Um, as you can see here, it's got like a bunch of hands. So it's got the two fists. So there's those. He's got the, I do like these, like finger guns. <laughs> I don't know. I figured that would be pretty cool to, for a pose or something. I don't know, I might put that in the thumbnail. It's got thumbs up. It's pretty cool. Or thumbs down. Hopefully when you watch this video, you'll do this and not this. Which I don't think you can do that anymore, but you know, hope you like it anyways. And he's got like another um, gun holding hand. So I'll put one of the guns in here just to kind of show you what it looks like. Yeah, this ain't good. It's kind of like a sweet spot. Like if you're, um, you know, used to playing with these toys or, you know, mess around with them, whatever you want to call it. Um, putting a gun in the hand can be like either like a good thing or a bad thing, but that was excellent. Like it's kind of like the uh, flexibility to it, but it's like when you get the gun in there, it grabs it right back. So I don't know. It looks like he's going to be like a really fun one to pose though. Um, so that pretty much covers him. Um, let's go to Mutagen Man. So one thing I do like about him, I gotta point this out, is that he is short, like in the cartoon. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's just a monster, basically. Mine has some kind of loose elbow joints here. So I do want to mention that, that this is his left elbow. He has a piece in here or something like that, I don't know. I think it was in the cartoon, but I know it was on the toy too. I'm not sure. I can't remember what it was for. And he's got like the, kind of like the boot. I did notice that like his, the front of this boot has like a paint job there. Um, it's 
it's like it almost tries to match this, but it's not quite. I don't know. Um, and it's all one piece, which is one thing I, you know, versus dirt bag or something like that, where it was kind of glued in. So it looks like it's maybe a little better. Knock on wood. Um, this ankle does pivot, but he is a little challenging to get standing because both feet are kind of different. So, you know, just fair warning that, like, you know, you might have to mess around with it a little bit. Uh, <laughs> this knee, I just noticed that. It looks weird. It looks like a, I don't know. Like a, I don't know. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> um, so he's got, like, this pack on the back. And everything is hooked up here. So you got, like, basically three hoses. Well, four, including this one here that just is permanently hooked up to that. Um, and then these two across his chest and the one right here at his head. And you can kind of see like these actually pop out to let it open. So one thing that really made me curious about this figure when I was like looking at videos and stuff was like, how do you change the heads? So basically the head has like a joint there or a hole there in the bottom where it goes in and it's got one in the back. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So basically you take these front hoses off and they just pop in and out. Yep, so it pops in. Pops out, undo those, these flap up. And then it just kind of comes apart from the um, piece. And this chest piece actually comes out. So, and just be kind of careful because like the bottom part has like a, where it slides back there, it'll just pop out in your hand. So just make sure you got it kind of over something. Um, I guess you could call this a spine. I'm not sure. Oh, his head, like, well, this is kind of like the word face or whatever, but like they, it has like a, we can move the jaw too, supposedly. But let's see if I can pop his head out of there. And this is the first time I've ever done this where I'm trying to change a head. Oh. So that actually comes out there. So I don't know if you can see that. Like this little hole where his spine or whatever comes out and you take that out. So you can kind of do it both ways. And he's got a spot here in the back and that's, that's even articulated. I don't know if you can notice that, but it actually moves. That's really neat. All right, so then I'm gonna switch them out. Um, so this jaw, yeah, it moves. Not much though. I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like, that's about as far as it goes. It's kind of blocked by the spine thing, so yeah. But you know, it's still much appreciated. Let's see if I get this thing out. There we go. So yeah, that's the spine, and it goes in there like this, and then put it back in here. this out a little bit Let's see. so I gotta line it up with this a little better because it has to go in here and then pop in the back too so I guess it's in there pretty good yeah, kind of hard to tell yeah. It looks like it's facing down, so I don't think I got this in there quite right. I don't know. This jaw just seems like it's just kind of clenched open too, so. Okay, so you can kind of, oh, I get it. So you can kind of articulate it from within there, but I noticed this jaw was like, I mean, it don't move much, but it's like it's open more here than there. When I close it, it just still kind of stays open. So, I don't know about that, but yeah, you can kind of articulate it. So, like, whenever you're doing this, I would probably say just articulate it before you put everything back together. Because once you get it where you want it or you think you want it, you got to put all this stuff back on it. So... 
All right, that looks good. And there's like a little latch here, so that goes right in there, kind of in the back. And put the hoses back. But yeah, I noticed this kind of make them right see like the little paint specks on it, but I noticed this looks like it's a little too far up or something. I don't know, cause this hose is like right in his eye or something like that. I don't remember it being that high. I don't know, something I'll probably adjust later on whenever I decide to pose him however I want to. Um, okay, so he comes in the package with just the fist. So there's that. And he comes with this canister too. And I guess he can just kind of hold it. Yeah, so that's what that's for. Oop. So we'll go over the hands. So he's got um, basically two of these big hands. It's like gripping hands, but it's like for that canister or so, right or left. Um, and then he's got like an open hand. And then he's got like a kind of relaxed gripping hand and then a trigger hand. So I'll use that for this gun. And this is this gun. It's kind of like the. I don't know, every time I saw it, I was like, man, it looks like a turtle blimp or something. But pretty straightforward. Just like the one he had in the show, too. Ooh, that paint looks kind of, you can see that get a little closer, but you can see like the pinkish purple paint's kind of bled, bled over into the brown, so you can kind of see that. That's a little disappointing, but not terrible. Looks better on the back side, though, which is odd. Um, yeah, not sure what happened there, but okay. All right, so I'm gonna try to get his trigger gun, trigger hand on there. God, yeah, that's pretty good. Like it holds it in the style. So, um, yeah, pretty much that covers it. Um, I'll be honest with you, this was the one that like kind of got me about the package, but like I'm more a mess around with it. I'm more impressed with Ace Duck. I don't know. Maybe it's because I got the Super 7 Mugen Man. I was real impressed with it. I mean, NECA does quality figures, but I don't know. Super 7 Ultimates that you basically pay double what you pay for these. Um, per figure is, um, yeah, it's, uh, definitely a quality improvement. So, but anyway, um, so yeah, if you got this or know anything about it, or, you know, just make sure you just leave a comment or let me know some stuff or, you know, show us some cool poses or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.